Terrifying moments for residents in Oakley awoken twice in the middle of the night. We heard two shots fired, a lot of screaming. Three hours later, we get a pound on the door. There's smoke, fire, fire, get out. Good evening. Police are calling it a coincidence tonight. A homicide investigation is interrupted after a fire breaks out in that very Oakley apartment building. Yeah, the victim of that fatal shooting did not live in the building. Police say 24-year-old Dante Cross was shot during an argument with an ex-girlfriend and a male friend. Nine on your side reporter Shannon Kettler shows us the frightening moments for apartment residents with video you'll see only on Nine. Just after one this morning, residents living in this apartment building on Alamo Avenue in Oakley woke up to the sounds of gunshots. It was scary. I've actually never heard a gunshot before, so besides the movies, and it was it was it didn't seem real at first, but he was there. He's like, "That was a gunshot. Let's get in the closet. We'll call 911. We'll get out. We'll." Get safe. Police tell nine on your side. 24-year-old Dante Cross was shot in the chest and taken to the hospital where he later died. As criminalists with the homicide unit were investigating an unexpected interruption, <coughs> smoke starts coming up from the basement. Officers on scene run back inside, knocking on doors to get everyone out. We get a pound on the door. There's smoke, fire, fire. Get out. We walk out, and I'm mean, just rushed out, and there's just smoke pouring from down the hall. So. Luckily, the police was already here investigating the scene, and they were able to let us out safely. According to the fire department, the fire started in a basement apartment belonging to this man seen here. He was the occupant in the apartment, and he has first-degree burns to both of his hands. The district fire chief adds the police presence made a difference. That, that helps out a lot when you have that early recognition and we can get here in time. Um, then the smoke detectors started going off, so that's going to help evacuate too. But obviously, the faster we get here, the, the, the better things are. Police and fire crews tell nine on your side the two incidents were not related. However, both made for a sleepless night. In Oakley, Shannon Kettler, nine on your side. A detective tells nine on your side the shooting appears to be a case of self defense. The case now goes to the prosecutor's office for review. The cause of the fire remains under investigation.